I work for Onelay Treaty Office, a Treaty Protection Office. I'm a translator, an interpreter. I'm also a presenter, presenting on our language and culture, and mm -hmm. also do presentations on uh, Frog Lake Resistance 1885, the story I got from my late grandma who was an eyewitness at that time what happened, and we used to always hear it from the white man's point of view, but she was an eyewitness and she told me all that story. And I also do presentations on personal residential school experience and I also do presentations on treaties as much as I understand them. I do presentations to white students, non-First Nation students, to adults, to uh, uh, clients that are in rehabilitation from drugs and alcohol because it's really important to know their identity, where they came from, to help themselves try and turn their lives around. It's got to be done from the roots, ground roots level. And I don't agree, some have adapted with the uh, white man's education curriculum to try and teach us our, our ways, our history, our culture. I don't agree with that. It has to be done through our own system, That what, that's how how it was taught to us with uh, 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 Mother Earth, right? With all that, that's on there, that's how we were, that's how we learned our language and uh, through our ground, uh, ground root system. That's how it's supposed to be. We cannot adapt to an, an, any other curriculum. To me, it was taught in the bush, right? Outside, outdoors, right? In nature with nature, that's how I learned the language and that's how it's supposed to be done. To me, that's how I think it's supposed to be done. To me, they need to be involved, like I said, with nature, with our ceremonies. They need to be involved and be, be taught there and not uh, in the classroom, right? Outside, outdoors, and nature with nature. They have to observe, they have to be eyewitnesses with our pipe ceremonies. They're the ones that are going to be doing that in the future, right? They have to be eyewitnesses with our sweat lodge ceremonies all these ceremonies they need to be eyewitnesses and observe what's happening there and that's it that's how i was educated that's our education system we cannot adapt to any other education system and believe that it's going to work for them and it won't it has to be coming from our people the educators the elders right our elders, the educators that's who needs to teach them that's who they need to observe while they're doing their ceremonies they're their culture, their dances, they need to know, they need to learn that. That's how we learned. I know we're improving. We're regaining our language slowly. As I hear little kids speaking short sentences, and that's really uh, encouraging and inspiring when I hear them say that. Obviously, they learn that from school, so it's some extent that school system works, right? To some extent, but as uh, like I said, as uh, caregivers, elders, or parents, grandparents we need to uh, reinforce what they learn in school and we need to reinforce that we cannot let them uh, we're gonna be speaking English to them when they're being taught in pre-language in school we need to re encourage them right